was seven years old, and I decided to hide behind a bathroom door and scare my dad. And when my dad walked out, he punched me in the face, and he told me that's what I got for scaring him. Don't scare your dads that are cops. Well, I've, I've got a list. How much time do you have? Well, a couple of years ago, I took Shaney's keys and I moved her car on the other side of the bus out of the parking lot and she thought someone had stolen it. Um, a year before that, I think I took Cheyenne Terry. I called her out and told her someone had hit her in the parking lot and she came running down the hall. Uh, the best one ever, though, was when I took uh, Miss Frisbee's keys and I moved her car down to Sid's and I put a for sale sign in the front of it and it said call. I put her cell phone number on it. And so all day at school, she was getting all these calls from. Actually, I was going to do that this year. Crap. <laughs> when are you going to show this? One time, I threw what they did for the line on Chris's view here. And it got passed around back and forth from vehicle to vehicle for solid money. So. I'm going to say putting a dead squirrel on Nate's tenant, on his car. So basically, one time I had poison ivy on my stomach, and it was like in my belly button and stuff, and like I asked Bailey and my mom, and I was like, so what the heck's going on, right? They told me that my belly button was coming untied, and I started like crying and stuff, called my dad, I was like, dude, my belly button's coming untied. <laughs> And it's just bad. You gotta take me to the hospital, like right now. They thought I was stupid. Bailey kept going on with it, and she was like, "Do you clean it out every night with a Q-tip?" And I was like, "No." She was like, "Yeah, it's coming untied." And I was like, "Ugh," but it was all a lie. So. for a prank war. Moral of the story is, don't punch cops in the face. <laughs>